Hey guys, and welcome back to Factorio Tightening the Belt Mega Base Guide. I'm Exterminator, and thank you for joining me. So, we are back here, and I've done a little bit of work on the last stream on Wednesday, and that VOD did go up and, and is in the uh, playlist for this series as well, so you can check that out if you want, or on my Twitch, which is linked in all my videos. Uh, so we set up this copper outpost here, uh, with the train delivering, um, picking up rather, from here going into a wonky little stacker. <laughs> Uh, here and then uh, we have a iron drop and a copper drop now I've not set up an iron outpost yet uh, but we did finish some of the, most of these builds um, the, I want to show you the red circuit build uh, but today we're actually going to work on oil on this oil so I do want to show you this red circuit build um, I'm actually going to take my bots out because I don't want them stealing my speed modules um, so this is a build uh, that Mojo gave me I was having some trouble figuring out one uh, because I was trying to do perfect ratios, which is like one cable to eight red circuit machines when they're moduled. Uh, without modules, it's one to six. But with modules, it's about one to eight. And I was trying to do that and it was just not working because you would have had to belt the cable. Um, so Mojo was just like, you know, in my base, I just said screw ratios and did this. And I mean, Mojo, you guys know who he is. He's done one of the biggest belt bases that's out there. Um, so I obviously trust his judgment. Uh, and uh, you know, this is just a standard eight beacon uh, deal with um, with direct insertion, which I, I I mean, I definitely could have done myself like I was thinking of doing it. Um, but it, th having this mojo give me this just saved me the headache of all the belt routing and such. Um, so uh, this is what we're going to use. Uh, like I said, some parts of it are missing, um, but this is what we'll use here. Um, we have a copper smelter here for the copper for the cable. And then we have, of course, the green circuit build here with the two iron and two copper. Uh, now we do need oil though because we need plastic like I said I'm not going to try to bring plastic down from over here because um, one our production is a little limited as well as our space and then two you know it's, it's just a long way and we're already kind of tapping it out with uh, these red circuits so I had this idea which I mentioned I think last video to um, let's pick up all these rocks to just do it based off of this oil and I had some people say that there's no way you're going to be able to support it um, off of this, and I think we can. Uh, so here, here's the deal, right? I mean, this is not the best oil patch. It's for 1148%. Uh, but first off, we have to factor in the fact that we have 66% mining productivity, um, which, you know, isn't a ton, but it's certainly something. Um, and then, so basically every two cycles, we get a free cycle, um, even less than two cycles, actually. And then also, uh, the power of speed beacons and speed modules on oil wells, I think, is very, very much underestimated. Like, it's pretty ridiculous how much how much oil you can get out of, of uh, wells by doing that. Um, now, we could put productivity in here on top of the mining productivity, uh, which we I guess we could see. Someone did a calculation a long time ago um, on, like, when exactly you should be doing that. And I don't remember what the result was, um, but uh, I think we're still going to go with speed here. Uh, so this is this is kind of a good tip. Like if you guys, if you have oil wells that are running really low or just low to begin with, putting speed modules in here uh, and then speed beaconing it if you need to is like insanely powerful. Uh, it's It can get you a lot more oil than you might expect out of the oil patches. So we're going to do that and we're also going to speed beacon it, but I want to work on the actual oil build. So this one is going to be fairly standard, um, pretty similar to this, although uh, we're not going to be doing anything with solid fuel. We're literally just going to be cracking um, cracking 100% of the stuff to petroleum because, you know, we don't need uh, we don't need like heavy oil or anything um, like we did here for or uh, gas. We don't need gas, obviously, for this because um, we're not making blue circuits here. So I'm just going to start building this kind of here somewhere. Uh, let's line this up here now. There's no water. Um, there's some water here, and there's also water here. We could pipe it. We could bring in a train if we want to do that just for fun. Um, that's a possibility. Just bring a little train in here. I mean, this is certainly pipeable in my opinion, but if we just want to do something like a little different, a train would be, uh, be doable. Um, so there's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Uh, I'm trying to think. I had it in my head at one point. I cannot remember what the ratio is for fully beacon module build. Um, we're not going to quite do that. Uh, what we are going to do 
is uh, we're going to start with this ratio and see how far this gets us. So it's um, 871, I believe, if my uh, memory serves me correctly. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. So th those those ones up there are modeled, which throws it off. But um, let's start. Let's um. So let's just do this. There's seven. So this guy is gonna crack into here, like that. And then we need a one over here cracking into. Uh, Cracking heavy into light. Um, okay, so now we can just do pretty simple here. And I'm going to actually utilize bots for this uh, because it will be quicker. So we're just going to clear something that I don't need. Probably don't need this one at this point. I can always re-blueprint it if I need it. So we're just going to do this, take these. Um, and actually, if we want to get really smart, what we'll do... That should work. Uh, maybe. Yep. I took my bots off. Okay, there we go. So we've got that. Where is... Here we go. Here's the rest of the blueprint. Boom. 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 Um, I don't really want these going this direction. I want them going the other direction since that's where our cracking is. Um, so these all connect in and then they will come out. This one can go almost straight up, honestly. He'll just go like that. And then this one can connect into here. And this one can come somewhere. Maybe this one should go... This one should maybe go from this side. I don't think it really matters. I mean, aside from them, like, not matching. Um, okay, so we've got all that, and then now what we'll do is we'll have the water come in over here. Again, pretty standard, uh, and then actually, I think I'm going to, we're going to utilize blueprints again here. So, boom, 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 okay, so... Uh, we can't actually clear this. If you shift right click, it'll clear it. I, I, I like I know that's something you can do, and then I just always forget it. <laughs> is what ends up happening. Um, so theoretically, uh, I guess we forgot this part. Sometimes making these tileable things is. There we go. Boom. Okay, so we've got all that. And then this guy is just going to wrap around uh, and somehow connect into here. That's actually going to be a little bit interesting how this is going to work. Uh, what we can do is we can come up, do that, and then this guy can just come up to here, to here, like that. Boom, boom. So that goes in there, and we'll throw some power poles down. And uh, we'll see how bottlenecked this oil is. That does not need to go there. Uh, and then we'll just power in here. Whoop, throw a connection down. All right, so with that in mind, um, yeah, we'll have to see how our actual crude oil holds up. And then, uh, yeah, and, and then base our, like, if we need to add modules to this or not off of that. Um, so we have all of this. And now, I mean, we shouldn't need tanks because this is an exact ratio. The only thing we really would want a tank for would be the petroleum, which we could do. Uh, like one tank for something I really don't think hurts at all. Um, okay, so let's go like that. Oh. Then we need plastic. Uh, this thing... Up here produces a full blue belt, which is what we're going to need, I think. Um, where's this build? It's actually, let's take a look here. Pretty sure this inputs a full build, a uh, full belt of plastic. Uh, let's see. So he grabs from here um, circuits. Actually, it looks like it merges. 
Maybe. Where does this go? Does this go to a separate... Oh no, this is weaving. Okay. This is actually really interesting how Mojo's has done this. Okay, so these come over... I'm trying to figure out what these actually do. Okay, it's just for like a second portion of it. Alright, so, so what's happening then is... Um, Circuits come in and plastic come in, so it's actually half a belt of each. We'll still do a blue belt. We don't. I don't think we need a full blue belt though. Um, so we'll just start and uh, and figure out what we need to do. So let's just go here and let's bring this up here. Make sure we have room. We have to get coal. It's going to be a little bit annoying. Uh, there's not any coal nearby. Uh, we could put a train here, get some coal from this patch. That's actually a bit of a pain, which I'd not considered. Uh, this patch is pretty well tapped out, I think. Um, I mean, maybe. Maybe not. Maybe we could pull, some, maybe send it like a second train here. I'd have to redo the track a little bit. Um, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to think on how to get how to get the uh, coal over here. But for now, we'll just do this. Um, four of them should be fine for now. Well, not that. Whoopsie, had the wrong copy. Okay, so we'll do this. This guy hooked up like that. And then power, we'll just do uh, power here and here. Stack inserters. Game. And how did I do the belt over here? I think I just did this, which is not great. But I think it should work. So we need a splitter. I don't have a splitter at the moment. So that guy's going to do that. This guy's going to come down and... Looks like there's no good way for that to connect. Okay. And then we just need to connect this over, which we'll do right here. All right. And how's our power? Power, we are going to need to expand power. These guys are not powered on currently. And now I'm going to try to be strategic as to where I put these poles. Um, so that we can still fit as many beacons as possible. Um, you know, I don't want these poles going somewhere where a beacon could go. So, like, a beacon can go here, so I don't want to put a pole there. A beacon cannot go right here. Uh, it wouldn't fit because of the pipe anyway. So that's good. And then, unfortunately, yeah. Let's actually, let's actually do that. And that should work out decently. We'll just run some power from here up to here. These guys are going to go, and uh, we probably want at least one tank for the oil, I would imagine. And lining this up. I mean, look how quickly this fills up. And, th and there's no beacons. I mean, it's going up like 150, 200 a, um, a second. I mean, that's pretty darn good if you ask me. Now, I would use bots here, but this one's a bit simpler than the others, so. Well, not really, actually. Got about the water, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not actually sure, guys. I'm, I'm curious as to how we want to do the water. I mean, we like I said, we can just pipe it from the lake below, and uh, I think that's totally doable. If we want to bring a train in, I mean, that would be kind of cool. We haven't trained water anywhere yet. Um, for something like nuclear, I don't think training water is particularly viable, um, except on maybe a small scale, just because of how much it uses. But uh, like oil processing doesn't use a ton, so I think it's fine to train in water if you want to or need to. And let's just grab that. Boom. Connect that up. So that'll go through there, and uh, this thing is pretty much full at this point. Uh, and then all we need is the water. Uh, it would be a lot quicker to pipe it. I'm, I'm gonna... Mm, I'm gonna... I don't know what to do. <laughs> uh, let's see, can we make an oil tanker right now? Can, but we can't make a locomotive. So we're gonna have to go back to base anyway. Uh, and the coal, we still need to figure out how to get coal here. Uh, honestly, looking at this, we actually don't have much coal on this map. That's some over here, but... Man, talk about inconvenient. 
Uh, I'm actually, I'm quite tempted to take uh, part of this patch and just boom, run a train right over here and connect in. I feel like that may be the thing to do, guys. Um, I'm almost debating like sharing a train of water and coal. Uh, how much how much water does this use? So it uses 50 water. So eight of these. So essentially 10 water a second. So 80 water a second plus whatever this is, which is like another 10-ish. These have a different craft speed, but so like 70. So let's just say like 200 water a second. That's um, it's a lot. 200 water a second. Two times six, 120. That's that's what 12,000 water a minute. If my math is correct. Yeah, 12,000 water a minute in a tanker hold 25k. Okay, so a rail tanker can approximately supply enough water for this for about two minutes. Um, that, yeah, I probably don't want to share. Uh, so running, like, tracks here for coal and... Let's just pipe it. <laughs> I want to do water because it's cool, but, I mean, really, it's like... I mean, it's not necessary whatsoever. If it were like partly necessary, then I would totally do it because it's cool. But we we should definitely be able to pipe this, I think. Uh, so let's run up and get some pipe. I also want to get some of the splitters and stuff that I need. I don't know why I'm not requesting. I could have sworn I was requesting splitters here. Um, let's grab some pipe. Gonna need quite a bit of it. And we'll see. I mean, if pipe's not enough, then we will, uh, you know, then, then we'll train it. But I'm pretty sure pipe will be good. Okay, well, this thing's cranking along. Uh, our modules are going again, which is fantastic. Um, they're actually backed up, so I could either A, do another research, or B, kick them up higher, which I think I'm going to do. Grab that. And the other module base is still cranking along, as far as I know, unless for some reason it stopped, but it didn't look like it had. Uh, and then, yeah, let's just run this water, and I think we'll call it an episode. Um, okay, so let's just... I think we can just run it down this way. That almost threw me off. <laughs> I would have been pretty upset. I mean, this is a pretty long pipe length, now that I'm looking at it. <sighs> Hate these trees, man. Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie. I think there's still some trees here. Stupid trees. The other option. This is actually way faster than chopping them down. And it's a great feeling, too. Did I connect? Okay. I wasn't quite sure. Okay, so we need a pump. Did he pump, pump, pump? Where, where is it? Here we go. So here. I mean, I'm not sure. Maybe pipe throughput isn't enough for this. We'll see. You don't know if you don't try. Even if you know pipe throughput, it's not like I instantly know how like many tile length this is. Um, I guess we'll find out. See what we can do. It should work, hopefully, maybe. I mean, the, the oil thingy should have turned on by now, honestly. We'll have to see like how much petroleum we're making. Um, so this thing's all going. Uh, the petroleum is pretty crap. There's, uh, there's not, there's not much, man. There's, um, I think we need to, like, speed module the hell out of this thing. Actually, hold up. Did I not? Oh, I never connected this. 
I only connected part of it to the tank. In fact, this shouldn't even be connected to the tank. I'm just dumb, apparently. That would help. <laughs> oh dear. Well, actually, that doesn't really, it's like, I mean, I guess either way. Yeah, the through, the, the it's, it's a little bit weird doing it like this, the way the fluid mechanics work. I suppose I connect it from both ends, I mean. This is not great. Um, okay, what if we disconnect this part? Then we need a pump. I think we definitely need a pump. There we go, that should do it. So it's at 11k, I mean it should only take, yeah it only took what, like 6-7 seconds to get to 12k? I mean, this is not bad, uh, this is obviously missing coal, um, but other than that, and the problem here too is it doesn't, I mean we can do that, but I'll probably want to switch it to like uh, stack inserters for sure. Uh, but I think that's going to do it for this one, guys. Uh, we pretty much got the oil set up. I just need to do, um, some coal and then get an iron outpost set up. I'm either going to tap this one or this one down here. Bring that in, and this thing will be operational, getting more red circuits made then. Because the, the deal behind this is that I want to be able to do research and modules at the same time. Red circuits are backed up, but that's because we're only doing modules. If I turn on research, there's not going to be any red circuits at all for modules. Um, so having a sub like the supplementary cir red circuit thing will allow us to do both at the same time uh which should be great so i think that's gonna do it guys as always thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and found it helpful leave your thoughts down below and until next time i look forward to seeing you all and do take care